Hello everyone, this is Tim Stewart, your EDBSC, back with you again. So today we're back talking about PIM, or Postgres Enterprise Manager. We're going to show you how you can quickly diagnose a problem in PIM. So we start here, you see the I.O. information here, right? You see your commits, your rollback, you see that role activity. We're going to allow you to drill down into this information. We're going to start here. You're going to go with the Tools menu. You're going to take the Tools tab. You're going to go to Server. We're going to show you the Performance Diagnostics. Instantly, you see Diagnostics popping up. You have the ability to drill down, do some trending, whether you need to see over the last four hours, 12, or 24 hours, and see what's happening in your system. So we're just going to select four. We're going to hit Go. You can also select a date range, but we're just going to hit Go right now. Instantly, what you see, activity. Now let's click on a screen here and show you the actual SQL statement. You can actually sort by load, SQL, and weights as well. So this shows you the SQL statement and the impact. Here we're impacting CPU, right? CPU, long running query, has been running for a long time. Let's drill down on that now. Go back to the tools menu, server, SQL profiler. It's going to allow you to dig into that long running query and see what's actually running in your system. So let's type. So we're going to create this trace file. I'm going to select a user. You have that ability to select a user. So these are filters for you. You can run this for a particular database. Here I'm selecting the EDB database. You can actually select the size of the trace file. So it won't get too large. We're going to select 8 meg. We don't want this trace file to run and mess up our system here. So we're going to create this and run this now. So now we see trace information instantly. Start time, key duration information to understand just how long this SQL statement has been running and impacting our performance on the system. At the bottom here, you actually can see more details. Click on metrics, you see execution, duration, page faults, page reclaims, key information. And over to the right, you can look at the analysis. All right, you can see we're doing a functional scan here. This functional scan could cause problems. You can even look at the statistics. Function scan is 100% of the query. The time spent, 0.892 milliseconds. So this is key information to help you diagnose performance problems using PIM. So if you still have questions and need to understand how to use PIM effectively, contact your EDB sales engineer and they'll be more than happy to help you out.